we've seen a huge improvement in a lot of projects we're getting done, both urban and ag. Uh, and that's leading towards the water quality trends we're seeing has been drastic improvement uh, thanks to that, those projects being done by all the landowners. It's really neat to see how the water quality is changing over time. We used to have frequent al algae blooms and um, poor water quality come July, August, sometimes into September. And we're hearing from residents that we're seeing less algae blooms, better water quality throughout the whole recreation season. Honestly, I think because of the large amount of lakes, the landowners really feel a buy-in to this area. Um, the funding's been huge, don't get me wrong, it's been a big part, but the landowners, everyone feels a tie to this community, whether it's Chisago City, Lindstrom Center City, it really is Chisago Lakes area. Uh, the landowners would start with the urban, went great, we got a lot of projects going, and the ag people have realized also that they're part of this community and they really wanted to be the gold standard to get a lot of good BMPs done around the lake. And so I think a big part of it is just the volume of lakes. Uh, there's, there's three communities, people believe that, they live here, they shop here, they do everything in this community and they feel that's very important to their, uh, to their livelihood and why they live here. We have a, a really large watershed and we are working with about 20 different lakes here starting at the headwaters which is North and South Center Lake and then as we move through the watershed um, everything that happens in this these first couple lakes then uh, trickles down so as we move through the system we're going through another uh, five to eight large lakes and then eventually we're heading out to the Sunrise River which heads to the St. Croix.